Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! How appropriate for this American holiday, which has been celebrated since 1621, to be aligned with Hanukkah, which the Jewish people have been celebrating since the 2nd century BCE. Thanksgiving is an opportunity for people to be grateful for the many blessings that we have, including our homes, food, and family, which many of the pilgrims struggled with as they tried to rebuild their new lives in America. For us Jews, Thanksgiving is particularly important. In England, there was no freedom of religion for anyone who wanted to practice outside the Church of England. And it was so anti-Semitic and so anti-Jewish that Jews were banned from England altogether. America gave Jews the opportunity to practice their Judaism publicly without consequence and fear of persecution. My five-year-old daughter learned about Thanksgiving in school and she got mixed up because she learned about this lesson of Jewish freedom and she thought it was a Jewish holiday. She said, are we allowed to drive on Thanksgiving? Hanukkah shares this theme. In 199 BCE, it was a tough time to live as a Jew. Antiochus, the Greek king, banned Jewish practices. There was no circumcision allowed, no celebration of Shabbat or the new Jewish month, Rosh Chodesh, as well as no Torah study. His goal was to assimilate all the Jewish people into the Greek culture. Then came along the Maccabees, a courageous, strong, small group of people who put their foot down and they said, even though we're a small group, we're going to fight against the Greeks. Miraculously, after they fought, they won. And the Jewish people were then, once again, free to live as Jews. Today, we're so lucky that we can live in a country that we have, where we have freedom of religion. And for that, we really do have to say thank you to God and thank you to the United States of America. Unfortunately, however, although we're free to practice, uh, most of American Jewry doesn't engage in anything Jewish. Um, most people, a lot of people don't even identify as Jews anymore. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have read about the Pew Report and the Pew, you know, it's been talked about again and again and again how the future of Jews is so hopeless. Um, but I really think that we can draw this lesson from Hanukkah and to say, no, um, we can fight against this, uh, this wave of, of, of assimilation against us and we can be like those Maccabees. This Hanukkah, you, who are obviously still a very engaged Jew because you're, you're watching this, um, you can take this opportunity and say, I can be like a Hanukkah candle. The light, if you, when you take a candle and you light another candle, both now have flames. The second, the lighting did not diminish the original candle's flame. You can be like that candle and you can say, I'm going to take my Judaism and invite other people in. Invite someone to light candles with you. Uh, invite someone to a Hanukkah party. Invite someone for a Shabbat meal. And we can try to combat this. A small group and, and, and be as heroic as the Maccabees. Wishing you all a beautiful Thanksgiving, a beautiful Hanukkah, a beautiful Thanksgiving. And thanks for watching.